Good morning all and welcome Matt. It's day five devotionals. My name is Marion Wells and I'm representing my senior pastors. Pastors Lloyd and Norma Hart of Revival Time Assembly San Fernando Trinidad. Today is the last day so and we examine if we are chosen or called to be mothers. It has been my pleasure being with you this week. Thank you for allowing me to enter your homes and spaces. So after we've sown and built our foundations, the last element to understanding if we are called or chosen is ensuring that our faith can endure all seasons in life and the various stages of our children. And trust me, our children go through lots of stages, one after the other, sometimes in rapid fire. But God is good and he's able. So therefore, we have to make sure at all times that we are equipped with the word of God and allow his peace to pass all human understanding and all the storms that this life may bring. For today's scripture, I want to look at Mark 11, 24, which says, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive it and ye shall be saved. Sometimes we may be praying, and trust me, you may not be seeing what we are praying for, but God is able. Continue praying. Continue speaking the word of God into the lives of our children, into the lives of situations, whatever the situation may be. Life have unexpected twists, unexpected turns. We can never tell for sure what will come, when it's coming, how far apart they may come. But at all times, I've come to know that with God, all things are possible. Have that desire, rely on the Holy Spirit. Jesus left them first. He's our comforter, he's our guide. He's all that we need. So as we continue our walk in righteous living, I want to encourage you today. Exercise your faith in God. See God at all times, no matter what the situation may be. See God. Trust Him. Believe that it is possible. Speak words of encouragement to ourselves, to our children, and speak to the situation. Encourage ourselves in the Lord like David. And at all times, trust God. So today I like to pray for mothers and for the many situations that they may encounter. Father, we give you the honor. We give you the praise. We come before you once more, Jesus. Bringing all mothers before your throne of grace. We ask them for the faith to surpass every, every season of our lives, Father God. Some seasons may be soft, some may be hard, some the winds might blow, some the storms might come thunder, lightning, name it and it happens, Father God. But we know that in all seasons, you are right there with us, empowering us, guiding us, and seeing, it, seeing us through. Father, I ask today that you bless all mothers, that you continue to empower them. I ask that your Holy Spirit minister to each and every mother today, to each and every family that will be viewing us this today, Father God. I ask that your Holy Spirit fill them, fill their lives, fill their situations, fill their hearts, Father God. Help them to know that with you all things are possible. Help them to know, Father God, that when they, we commit our children into your hands, you are able to commit, to keep what is committed into your hands, Father God. We have the opportunity to bring righteous seed into this world, Father God, and to put that will go on to proclaim your words for future generations, Father God. We have the opportunity, Father, to bring forth righteous seed in a righteous way. And we give you the honor. And we take this not lightly, Father God. We take it not for granted. It's a job, Father God. And it's a job that we ask for your strength and your empowerment to do. To carry us and to keep us and to give us the wisdom that only you could do it. Help us not to rely on our own to do this, Father God. But at all times, no matter the situation, Jesus, to come before you and to seek your guidance, to seek your wisdom at all times, Father God. 
Father, I want to commit every child into your hands. I want to speak into every child's life today, Father God, no matter the age, Father Jesus. We are all your children. We all have mothers, Father God. Whether it's biological mother, adoptive mother, however, Father God, we thank you for the mothers that you place in our life. And we pray a spirit of obedience upon each child today, Father God, that they will walk in the vocation in which they are called. That they will, be, they will rise up to be mighty men and women in this generation, Father God. That they will do your will and your will alone, Father God. That their light will shine wherever they may go, Father, whatever the circumstances. We know that this season is trying. We know that this season so many unexpected things may be taking place, Father God. But God, we commit every household into your divine hands to your keeping, Father God. We ask that you give your angels charge over each and every home, Father God, each and every, around each and every individual, Father God. Let them know that you are there, Father God. Let them know that they can rely on you, that they can trust you no matter what the situation, Jesus. Let them know that they can trust on your Holy Spirit and welcome your Holy Spirit into this situation for guidance, Father God. Father, we commit all into your divine hands, Father God. And we speak a blessing upon each household, upon each mother, upon fathers that are standing with mothers, Father God. We just commit all into your divine hands right now, Father God. And we ask for the faith, Father God, for faith, Jesus, to continue on this journey as we go through motherhood, Father God, as we go through this life, Father God. We give you the honor and we give you the glory, Father, for you are worthy to be praised, God. You are worthy to be exalted, Jesus, and there is none like unto you. None that could keep us in every situation, whatever that situation may be, Father God. So I say thank you for our mothers again, Father God. Continue to bless, continue to keep, continue to guide them, continue to strengthen them as they go through this journey, Father God. A never-ending journey. From the cradle to the grave, we will always be mothers, Father God. And we thank you for giving us the opportunity to nurture our young lives and to bring forth a righteous generation as we continue on our walk of righteous living. We give you the honor, we give you the glory, and we give you all the praises, Jesus, and we say amen and amen. So, thank you for being with me this week. Thank you for allowing me into your space. I pray that everything that was said and done will impact some life today. We'll bring some form of guidance and some form of hope to you today as we continue on our lives journey in Jesus' name. Love you all. Have a blessed one.